So this model is the Hobby King Retro. Super cool old timer design. A lot of fun to fly around, but it had kind of an interesting design where they put ailerons on it. Now I found it was very frustrating to fly with these ailerons because uh, it would put the nose down every time you used them and um, potentially could put the airplane into a uh, spin. So I discontinued or disconnected those a uh, long time ago and I've had these servos just kind of hanging out in the wings. I thought, well, gosh, what can we do with those? So I came up with a little idea or a very simple way to drop something from this airplane using a dowel and a rubber band and a couple of pegs. So now putting those onto the rudder channel, if we actuate, you can see the rubber band is released. So it works pretty well. Uh, let me show you. So now, as you can see, I've got a little tangle-free parachute guy. This is a cloth parachute. You can buy these on Amazon. They're only a couple of bucks. They're real cool because uh, they use a piece of netting instead of string, so uh, they don't get tangled up at all. So now I've got this guy strapped under the rubber band, and when we activate, boom, down he goes. Works really well, and I have yet to have a glitch, and it's pretty cool. The only one thing I would suggest is, if you can see this, but I put a piece of tape on uh, the side of the plane because this ring snapping back, and the ring is important because uh, that's what allows it to slip off of the, off of the actuator. Um, if it's just a rubber band, it will pinch and get hung up. But um, that snaps back and actually will uh, put dents in your foam. But a little piece of tape takes care of that. So there you have it. Uh, I'll see if I can get a video of uh, the airplane drop in action. So there you have it, a simple bomb mechanism uh, triggered off of the wing servos. Uh, one thing I didn't point out is that actually there are two of them, one on each side. So you can drop two parachutes or, um, you know, maybe uh, even more. You could probably fit three or four of them under there and uh, this airplane will, you know, move them, carry them no problem. Um, one thing I should probably also point out, uh, when I'm not actually using these, I just strap them around these rubber band pegs. They had some fake... Uh, rubber bands. This is actually screwed down, but um, there was some fake rubber bands across the top that made it look like an old-timer uh, that was strapped down, even though it's a little bit safer than that. So um, anyway, there you have it, guys. Have fun. If you think of a way to improve it, let me know. Um, unfortunately, I think they've discontinued the retro, so you can't buy them new anymore, but uh, gosh, you could probably uh, build one from a plan if you wanted to. Anyway, uh, enjoy. Hope you find this useful. Bye.